Night Riders Wall Street passed two important tests last week. The first one is the Apple report and the second one is the July employment numbers. Both came over expectations which helped the market move slightly higher, just 0.2%. Also, the dollar revaluation and good European economic report hurt the market too. The interesting part, however, and the most interesting part, however, is the fact that we are seeing the medium range income households start buying stocks. And this means that the bubble is not about to burst. In fact, we're seeing the nine, the nine year rally, in my opinion, just moving to a new phase. So market continue to move higher. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I watch the S&P 500, I can see that the market is holding to the high. It looks great. At that point, when it consolidates for the past two weeks approximately, it's about to make two decisions. Take a look, if it moves over the high, it's going to be a very nice technical breakdown. However, again, we could visit the 2450 uh, area in the S&P 500, so a small pullback could happen soon or a move over the highs. Again, I have no idea what's going to happen, but still the market is uptrending, so we should look forward for some uh, more gains. Let's take a look at last week's picks. My first pick last week was AFL, which did great. Look at the very nice technical breakout. It moved up, it reached a 2% gain, which is not enough because I'm only taking my partial at a 3% gain. So there's still some work to be done with AFL. Hopefully it's going to continue there next week, next week, this week. And if it does get to the 3% target, then I'm going to lower my size by three quarters and the rest, the last quarter will have a stop at the entry point. My second pick last week did not trigger, that's energy. Energy did not trigger, so we only had one trade last week. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Caterpillar, long over 114.90. Caterpillar is uptrending, it looks great over the highs, and also, if you take a look at the past few days, it gapped up recently, therefore there will be a lot of short sellers. So move over the high would probably trigger a short squeeze. So Caterpillar over the highs looks like a very interesting long trade. My second pick for the week is JD. JD.com, that's the name of the company, is a big uh, retailer in uh, China. A very uh, big company, very nice uptrend, and I would like to go long over 46.85. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.